Hello and welcome back everybody. Sparks Comics here ready to talk about this week's top indie comic picks for New Comic Book Day. I am excited about a lot of these. We've got a couple number ones on the list this week and some really cool series hitting their next issue. So 10 issues on the list this week, all single issues. So let's talk about this. So we go along with the list this week. Let me know down in the comments what you're looking forward to picking up. I know you all read a lot of indie comics as well, so is there something that I'm missing this week that you think I should be picking up? Let me know in the comments. And are you picking up any of the ones that I'm talking about this week? Let me know down below and drop a like on the video. And if you're new to this channel, go hit that subscribe button and welcome, welcome in. So number 10 on my list this week is going to one from Vault Comics. We've got West of Sundown number nine from Aaron Campbell, Tim Seeley, and Jim Terry. We have the ninth issue of this amazing comic about monsters and the West and all of that. Uh, Temptation abounds. Griffin discovers power untold in the hands of Dr. Moreau, while Rosa is offered the blood of Miss Bouncing Betty. It's up to Dooley, Dirk, and Cumberland to come to the rescue, but that might not be so easy as... They are damn near out of their minds, wandering the desert on some of that special native tea. My number nine pick this week is going to Aftershock Comics for Samurai Doggy, number four from Chris Tex and Santos. I absolutely love this. This feels like manga in in Western comics. Um, the action is brilliant. The artwork is fantastic from Santos and. The story that Chris Tex is writing here is just perfect. The brutal battle against the robots in Sky Panel Park needs to make a quick... Uh, continues. The boy finds himself in trouble and Doggy needs to make a quick decision. How will this fight end? And then my number eight pick this week. We're going to Ablaze Publishing for Traveling to Mars. Number four from Mark Russell and Roberto Melli. I am absolutely loving this story coming from them. And my on the issue six solicit over in the previous world catalog right now, I have a quote on the book. And that is so cool to see. Uh, you promised me comics written in the previous world catalog. So I, I'm super excited about that and love this story. Roy gets an unexpected chance at salvation when his estranged wife agrees to talk to him before his spaceship cuts off communications with the Earth. This has been a fantastic story so far. Kind of just the 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 humor that that uh, we see written into the story from Mark Russell, phenomenal. Um, and I'm loving what's going on between our our protagonist and. His robot companions, the, the things that they're, they're doing on this trip, it's fantastic. I, the whole idea of this trip is, is farcical in nature um, and also not too out of possibility in the real world. So I love it. Number, what do we got on this? The number seven on this list, we are going over to Mad Cave Studios for Tales from Nottingham. Number two from Anna Everts and Gabrielle Serra. The first people to write Nottingham and have it published that are not the original creative team. In 1192 in Prince John's England, hunting on Crown Land is a grave crime. When Everard Blackthorne, the Sheriff of Nottingham, is commanded to investigate one such grisly murder, he becomes entangled in a dangerous game with a most mercurial, mercurial adversary. Never before seen... Mysteries confront Everard Blackthorne, the Sheriff of Nottingham, culminating in an investigation that will lead directly into the climactic events of Nottingham Volume 3. For number 6 on the list, we're going to scout comics for one from Mario Candelaria and Latora Havlovich. This is Kilchella issue number 3. I had Mario on the channel somewhat recently to talk about Kilchella in addition to a Kickstarter that Mario was, was doing with Silver Ferris, and it's phenomenal. Mario's an incredible writer, and if you guys have not checked out this story yet, please go do it. 
We've got, uh, in this issue, what should have been the festival weekend of a lifetime has now turned into a nightmare. As Blair and her friends find themselves in the middle of a massacre orchestrated by crazed pop star Topanga Cornell and her most psychotic fans who will do anything. Hashtag for her love. It's, I've read all through this entire series, one through four, and it's phenomenal. I love uh, the the suspense buildup that we got going on into issue three, and then just it gets it just gets wild in issue three, and then issue four as well. So check this one out. Number five on the list this week, we're going over to Ablaze Publishing again for Children of the Black Sun from Dario Ciccio and Letizia Cardinici. It is not difficult to be happy under a black blue sky. But it, does, it takes a lot of courage to be strong, even under a black sun. The older children of the black sun continue to initiate their younger counterparts into their way of thinking and incorporate them into their plan for a bright fail. But even before all of the elements of what they have in store are revealed, the town's descent into madness is already taking hold and turning the world on its head. Number four on the list is one from AWA. We've got Black Tape, number two from Dan Panosian and Dalbor Talajic. Jack King was a rock and roll god who projected a stage persona on par with the devil. After Jack dies on stage and his widow Cindy grapples with grief and struggles to protect his legacy, unaware that she is being surrounded by dark forces that covet the master tape to Jack's final unreleased album, a heavy metal masterpiece that just might open a doorway to hell. It's issue one was phenomenal. I gave it, I believe, a nine or nine point five out of ten uh, on our website, youpromisemecomics.com. So if you haven't checked out that review, go check it out. Uh, links down below to the website. Lots of great reviews over there. Uh, really, only reviewing the ones that I like. I don't have time to do a lot of reviews, so I don't spend time reviewing the the bad books. I, I really want to put out information about those that doing really well out there. Speaking of books that are just killing it and doing really well, number three on the list is Know Your Station, number four of five from Sarah Gailey and Liana Kangas. Paranoia among billionaires is rising almost as high as their profits while they tighten up on security, but the, they may no longer be the only targets. As Elise discovers some shocking evidence in her search for the killer, after witnessing the most gruesome murder, yet Elise is on the verge of a breakthrough in the case before another panic button blares and she's greeted by a familiar voice. Talking with Liana and Sarah was probably, I mean, I've enjoyed a lot of our interviews. M most of the interviews are just phenomenal, uh, phenomenal times. And this one, though, I feel like is probably our most hilarious interview. Um, the humor that both of them have is fantastic. And uh, we got to, to talk about space slides for about four minutes. Uh, just so if you see a space slide in issue five of this, um, that is a product of, of, of our discussion. <laughs> But it's a hilarious uh, interview, so go check out that interview if you haven't already. I'll, I'll try to either link it here uh, or here and or at the end of this video. Number two on the list is going to Dark Horse Comics for Clear, issue number one from Scott Snyder and Francis Manipal. In the not-too-distant future, mankind no longer sees the world as it truly is. The invention of neurological filters has made it so one can view reality however they may choose. Old Hollywood monochrome, zombie apocalypse, anime, the possibilities are endless. neo Seamus Sam Dunes is one of only a handful who choose to live without a filter. When the death of an old flame reveals foul play, Dunes is set on a wild and twisting mystery that will take him from the city's deadly underworld to an even deadlier heights of wealth and power. This is uh, originally a comicsology original. It is three-issue miniseries from Scott Snyder and Francis Manipal. I'm excited to read this. I do not read the, the, the digital comicsology comics, so I have not read it yet. I've heard such good things about it, though, and... I love Scott Snyder's writing, so this is probably just going to take me um, 
you know, to that next level of, of uh, excitement if, if this sounds, this is as cool as it sounds it is. Um, and as my number two pick, my number one pick this week is going to one from Image Comics, and that is Stoneheart number one from Emma Kubert. Emma Kubert, the artist behind Frank Miller Presents, Frank Miller's Pandora, and Image Comics series Inkblot and Radiant Pink, introducing her whimsically titled, whimsically twisted tale, Stoneheart, a new ongoing action-adventure fantasy series. Bubbly and headstrong Shade Whisper has been inexplicably exiled from her magical guild and relocated, left only with vague memories and romanticized hope. But when she hears a sinister voice in her head that awakens a power beyond her comprehension, she'll traverse her past and present to unravel her prestigious place within the mystical land of Athea. I'm excited about this one. I love a good action and fantasy series and I loved Inkblot. That was one of my favorites for a while. Always a great time reading that story. And I'm loving Radiant Pink and Pandora right now. Another good fantasy tale that we've got going on. So that's why this one's my number one pick. Also coming up, we're going to get to talk with Emma on the channel in about two weeks. Uh, so I'm super excited about that. Uh, it's gonna be it's gonna be a great time. So please come check out that interview when uh, when we have it. We're gonna be able to talk about issue one of Stoneheart. We're gonna be able to talk about Inkblot, Pandora, everything that she's got going on. And I am super excited for this series. So that is my top ten for this new comic book day. Thank you for watching again. If you made it here, you aren't subscribed. Go hit that button. Uh, follow along. Dropping these videos every week. And we're also dropping uh, interviews almost every week. We took a week off this last week to kind of recalibrate and set up the March schedule. And then uh, we've got final order cutoff videos every week. And I'm trying to do a little bit more content out there, but uh, that'll come as I'm able to. Hopefully I can get you guys a March previews catalog uh, discussion uh, before then as well. Uh, so we'll see if I, I can set that up. And... That's it for today. As always, collect what you love. See you next time.